Hey there, and welcome to the lesson on how to launch a collection of your artworks. It's one of the most effective ways out there to present your art for sale to your collectors and followers and your email list. So let's dive right in. So the purpose of this process is to go through the steps that it takes to sell a curated group of paintings, meaning a group of paintings that are related by theme, subject, or content via email. You can use other channels like social media if you desire, but email is the fundamental basis of this whole process. So the key points in the collection launch are the curating a collection of related works. Building anticipation through pre-launch emails and social media posts, and encouraging growth of your email list through VIP Early Bird, as well as limiting the length of the availability. Now let's go through each one of these ingredients one by one. So first of all, curating a collection of related works. That means that you're going to pull together artworks that are related by any of the different things that can connect them together, size, medium, subject matter, theme, but you want them to somehow visually connect so that your audience can understand your reason to pull them together. 12 to 15 works is a really great number, but you can launch with as small a collection as three to four pieces. Don't let that hold you back. Next, we want to think about building anticipation through pre-launch emails and social media posts. One of the things that's most effective about launching and promoting your work is building buzz long before you offer your work for sale so that by the time that sale is available, your audience is ready and waiting to purchase. So you're going to use those pre-launch emails and social media posts to build the story around the context around why you are making the paintings that you're making. Because story sells. Story connects to your audience on a very gut level via emotion. Next, you're going to encourage the growth of your email list because launching is one of the best ways to increase your email list by offering a VIP early bird option only to your email list. This can be your entire email list and it's one of the things that you should advertise in inviting people to join your email list on a regular basis. That By joining the list they get early VIP access to any launches and promotions. That means you're going to open the launch to them a few hours a day or even a few days before your launch is open to the general public. Next, one of the key factors, one of the key points in a launch, any kind of launch, is to limit the length of availability. And there are all kinds of ways to do this. You can limit the length of availability by hiding the artwork, not having the artwork for sale at the end of the launch period, you can offer the option, for example, of free shipping and having free shipping going away at the end of the launch period, but still have the artwork remain available for sale. You could add a bonus in during the open launch period in order to encourage purchasing during that time. But there needs to be something that limits the availability, that adds scar scarcity, and adds a push for people to take action now. Because we all procrastinate, and if there's no push to take action, people are less likely to purchase. So let's go through the whole process from beginning to end. There are six basic steps in the process. Number one is brainstorming your promotion. Number two is planning your offer for success. Number three, picking a theme and curating that selection of related artworks. And number four is actually going through the process of writing out those emails and social media posts. And I recommend you do them all at one time so they stay connected and you can watch for flow. Number five, create beautiful graphics. Edit those photographs so they're most effective. Number six, 
launch your collection. That's the actual process of opening up your artwork collection for purchase. So let's go through these one by one. Number one is brainstorm your promotion. So at this stage, you need to pick out what your overall goal is, and it should be two things at least. Number one, to grow and acquire a certain number of customers and new members to your email list. And number two, to make X goal in sales. It could be how many paintings you want to sell. A recent client had a goal of selling at least one painting out of her collection of eight paintings. That's a great goal for your first time out. Make that goal realistic so that you know that you can achieve it and it's doable. Number two, Pick out the selection of artworks. Make them related and connected to a theme. Then set a date for the promotion. Calendar it out so that you know it will happen. So you want to set a definite start and stop date so that you can build emotion, I mean anticipation and scarcity. Then you want to go through and figure out the logistics. There's a check sheet back in lesson one that goes through just the basic logistics of any launch. Make sure you go through that so that you've got all the pieces and parts in place. Then put it all on the calendar. Decide whether you're going to sell on your website or in a shop hosted on a print-on-demand site. Check on deadlines for any outside services you might be using so that you don't run up against a roadblock. Then in the next step, you're going to actually put your plan down on paper. You've brainstormed it. Now you're putting it down on paper. So you're going to make a simple marketing plan with dates that are laid out on a calendar. I've got a checklist for you to do exactly that. Make sure you download it, that you put in the dates that are important, and that as you go through the process, you give yourself the little mini reward of checking off or making a tick mark when you've completed a step. You can promote your collection launch via email, blog, or social media, or even all of the above. I would urge you to use all of them and be creative. So your first action step is to decide on that theme, one that will delight and intrigue your viewers. Make sure you write it down on the worksheet. Number two is to decide on which channels you're going to be using to promote. Are you going to use email, blog and website, and or social media? Number three is to fill out that worksheet so that you can plan your posts and your subjects and your topics. Let's look at step number three in the whole process. This is where you're going to actually nail down that theme hard and fast and curate that selection of related works. This is kind of a fun one. I want you to look at the kind of themes that are employed by other um, venues, other fields that use the concept of launching collections. Think about clothing lines. Think about any retail outlet that launches a collection. Think about cars. New car collections come out every year. They always have an overall theme that has to do with the look and the feel of that collection, even if it's not stated. So look at some examples. Scroll through magazines. Scroll through the internet. Look at your favorite clothing line. Think about the overall look and the color relationships that they are, are laying out. And maybe even cut and paste some and stick them into a folder somewhere. This next step, step number four, is to write your emails and social media posts. This is actually not as onerous as it sounds. I want you to download the email template that is provided in this lesson. Don't copy those emails word for word because those are in my voice and it won't sound like you if you use my voice. Put them into your own voice. Tell your own stories about your artwork. So my suggestion is that you open a text document for each of those emails and open them all at one time. It makes it so much easier to create flow between your emails. You can actually even copy and paste those template emails into your new text documents. Then edit them to make them your own. When you do that, you can look at the overall flow of your email and social media posts 
and make sure that you're not missing out on a critical step. Save those texts, save those text documents so that you have them ready to line up in your email system to broadcast when the time comes. These need to be sent out as individual email broadcasts or campaigns or social media posts if that's what you're doing. So make sure you have those all written, that you batch them out at one time. Step number five is to create beautiful graphics. So you want to focus on creating beautiful sales graphics. You can make gorgeous images all on your own using my favorite free software, which is Canva.com. Canva has both a paid and a free version. You can even use Canva to edit the photographs of your artworks. Remember, you want to edit out extraneous details. Canva has um, stock photos available that will let you pop your artwork into a simulated room environment if you wish to do that. So Canva is a place for you to create that themed look so that there's a related visual outlook on all of your graphics during your launch. When you batch these and do them ahead, just like with your emails, you ensure that there's an overall look to what you're doing and you're not leaving anything out. So make sure that you are looking at all of the necessary graphics. You'll need one for each post or email and that you're creating those now using Canva or any other available image editing software. Number six is to actually launch your collection. <coughs> Go back through that promo checklist and make sure that you have your emails co complete with graphics lined up to go out on the appropriate date. Think about any ideas that you might have for increasing your traffic. If you have the bandwidth, now might be the time to implement a little bit of Facebook advertising and promoting some of your social media posts around your launch, promoting some of those pre-launch posts. In the end, the main thing you have to do, line up those emails and press the send button so that you are launching your artwork out into the world where you can make an impact. Are you ready to dive in? Download the worksheets and get started right now.